So it is agreed, then. We will board the Black Pearl as soon as it docks in the harbor. And then once it does, we will attack Sparrow, subdue his crew, and I get to fulfill my end of the bargain, while ye fill out yours. I apologize again for thinking that you would betray me. I would be sure to not do that again. I suppose that considering our bargain is almost over, perhaps you would Consider this other offer that I will now make. After we kill Sparrow and finish off whatever is left of the Pearl or even finish off whatever is left of Jack Sparrow, you stay on with me as my first mate. Yes, I know, I have a first mate already, but lately my first mate has been, as you say, um, rusty. <sighs> I will have to retire him, but I don't think that he would mind, as he is getting quite old. Hmm. My first mate is my father. Ironic, isn't it? His daughter goes into the life of a pirate with him being the first mate. No, he won't be happy to retire, but I'm pretty sure that when he does, he'll know that I will be okay. And that I'll be sure to supply him with as many riches as he needs. Getting low on the rum. What say you, though? Would you stay on as a member of my ship? Be my first mate after my father retires? Or would you rather go on living your life, as it were? Live how you wish. You don't have to decide right away. Ah, oh, that is good, Ron. For now, I think we should focus on time on Jack Sparrow. He will be docking soon, and I suspect he will act as though he is not ready to see us, especially me. For he knows that I have been looking for him for quite a while. The man tore off my ear. The question is, what body part would I cut off of him? For he has no ears nor a tail. Perhaps I cut off a hand, give him a hook. Maybe I cut off his leg, have him limp around with a peg for the rest of his life. Or maybe cut off his whole arm. Or even... <laughs> a few fingers or a few toes. Ah, oh, no, that would be too tame. Ah, whatever I decide, though, of killing Jack Sparrow. I will leave that satisfaction to you. I am the one who cuts off a part of Jack's body first. Be it his own ears, his tongue, a nose, his hands, his legs, whatever it may be. I get it first. 
and then you can deal with the final blow. You can chop his head off, you could shoot him, you could stab him, you could throw him over the ship. Doesn't matter to me. I'll make sure that my crew subdues his, so that way they cannot get any vengeance. And maybe I can pay them off to work for me. Though, with my crew once being a member of Jack's ship, I don't know if I can trust them. We might have to surprise Jack. If that is even at all possible. Hmm. A surprise attack. That'll work. We do it as soon as he docks. No. Not as soon as he docks. We'll do it the night he does dock. Most likely he will stay aboard the Pearl to make sure that no one of the East India Trading Company or those blasted red coats or even I or any other pirate is out there looking for him. He'll stay on the Pearl and then we'll come and jump ship. We'll kick off the crew, sail ahead, and we'll have Jack all alone on the Pearl. What say you? <laughs>